you have different bonds with your children. You do. My bond with her was amazing. To have her in my life, I felt honored. Sarah was, oh my gosh, she was athletic, loved soccer, loved learning, it was great in school, had graduated on January 30th with a bachelor's in criminal investigations. She worked hard, full-time job, went to school full-time, and still managed to carry a 4.0 and time for family and friends. She was the most kind-hearted person. The night that Sarah was killed, she was at 33rd and L, and there's a stoplight. The light was red. She had just started to go. It had turned green when Mejia comes up over a little hill, racing another vehicle, and hits her at 70 plus miles an hour. Omaha Police Department had been in contact with ICE, trying to get them to put a detainer on him. They had made several calls. They even hand delivered fingerprints and other information to ICE directly, so there was no chance of anything getting lost in the shuffle. At no avail. The judge set the bond for vehicular homicide at 50,000 and 10%. Bonded out and never been seen since. No accountability for anything. He's on the run. $5,000, he's gone. 11 weeks after Sarah was killed, there was another illegal Honduran drunk driver that hit and killed another person. 11 weeks after this happened to Sarah in Omaha, Nebraska. This is not an isolated incident. There is never a second that goes by that, oh my God, I don't have a daughter anymore. I don't have my baby. It never gets any easier. It just doesn't.